What is up gamers, welcome back to another predecessor gameplay video for you today. I gotta play some Narb support. Uh, Narb, probably pretty good dispatch, I'm gonna be honest. Um, of course, his landing, not so great. I'm gonna have uh, them drag wave because I need to uh, get my crest going. Uh, I don't really want to tank or do anything, I want them to play offensively. Um, I'm trying to get this side of the lane. Uh, but we're getting blocked. Um, I'm kind of letting my ADC do everything for the first two waves, and we'll see what happens from then. I'm not also trying to ward because uh, if I get any close, they will auto attack me and they will drag wave. Again, play for level two here. That's a, that's a flash, nice, we will take a flash. What is happening with my heals, you see this? I don't see the VFX or anything, that's a little weird. That's why I cancelled the first time I did it. If she throws stun, I'm, I'm gonna blink uh, dunk this guy. Of course, uh, we cannot play too aggressive because we don't know where jungler is still. As you can see, the enemy blue side is warded and the jungler is not there yet. So we actually cannot play aggressive. Their jungler is a crunch. So I cannot really go in just yet. I see the Gideon. Nice, there we go. Uh, I'm trying to hover uh, between basically... Uh, Checking what's happening in the jungle. And uh damn, I missed. If I if I hit that, maybe we get flash. We don't kill, but maybe we get flash. He's actually pushing towards us, don't we just leave this? Yeah, we just leave this with this, no? Kind of pushing. I think it's uh, it's actually fucked for them. I'm gonna heal while I'm basing because there's no reason not to just in case we do get engaged on it at least I, I will have this guy popped off now I'm gonna go true silver first because I think true silver is the correct item to go but I am not gonna go the right side item because I want to get the base mana regen on energy steam working towards this item uh, I think it's much better as you can see also upgrading this is much better the reason I started with the right side tree is of course the health early on is very very good the reason we didn't uh push in that wave by the way is because we would be too slow at doing that and we would rather have a nice freeze right here in front I don't want to really get hit but of course I will have to get hit occasionally and they will drag the wave I do want to hit the wave though because I we do need to keep it a little uh, trimmed unfortunately this wave is probably gonna go under I, I don't think I want to hold on this uh, they do uh, actually do pretty good damage for me there. I did not expect it to take that much damage, but overall it is going to be fine. I hit that for him, so he can uh, kind of do something or like, I mean, CS it, right? Uh, something's happening with my VFX. Alright, it's the... I go back, make sure I don't stick for too long, move speed my rate after forcing the... As you can see there, I didn't really send it with the... I need to be careful, I don't know where the crunch is. I'm definitely holding tongue for the crunch. I don't really have a ward, so... If I do want to uh, help shove this... I'm gonna save enough mana for tongue there. There we go, so stop healing. Uh, that guy's gonna try to hold it. There we go. I will blink uh, tonk that guy. I'm not letting him hold it. I was kind of baiting it, to be honest. I can't really stay there. I am gonna say BRB. Uh, the Kira is back in lane. I could potentially just heal them, but I think it's better off for me to just uh, reset. I am gonna go for bracelet first item. Kind of need it to be able to be a bit tanky as Narbush early on. If you don't go bracelet, I feel like you just die on cooldown. So unless you have like a really good frontline, 
and you can read like something like Crystal Tear. I think every, you have to go through silver most times. Something that I was talking about here that I, when we were trading, uh, I kind of like tunk or fake tunk on, on the gear to get her dash out. Because uh, after she uses dash, then she's going to try to... Uh, oh, I need to be careful there. They could have killed me. But after basically after I tunked, uh, I force her dash and uh, she can... Uh, she can basically get killed if she doesn't walk back towards that uh, fang, or not fang, sorry, toward, well, kind of towards the fang, but towards the fog wall. My DC is keeping a small freeze here. Uh, we will probably get hit. Right, he used, uh, when he uses, uh, what's it called, the snipe like that, there's no reason for me to fight, so I need to wait like five seconds. I need to stay in range of the XP. But also, uh, being a ward again. Because now I don't have a smite. This is where we can die, but or at least I can die. My DC will not die, but everyone else can die. I don't really want to die for it, to be honest. Oh, okay. So we know that the Zaris, not the Zaris, the Crunch, has just finished blue side. So he's going to be here. He's going to be right here. I'm not going to be uh, doing anything because I guarantee that the crunch is here. I am just going to be Omega chilling. Let my uh, raid do all the stuff. Again, I'm a scaling support, right? As soon as uh, we team fights happen, I'm going to be absolutely massive. There is no reason for me to do anything. As you can see, uh, the crunch is right here. Uh, the key is level 6. Uh, I cannot even step up here because I will get just Decker Cage and Decker Stunned. So, uh, luckily, this is moving towards us. I'm going to wait for him to last hit this minion. So, I get in, get the XP, and then I'm going to go directly in the jungle and ward right here. So, I only miss, uh, like, a, a minion's ward XP. You need to be careful with the XP that you hit or miss. I miss. It's, it's fine taking that punk, though, because uh, we weren't really going to go in. I cannot go in on Akira like that, not when they haven't used any abilities, but the good thing about this lane is that we don't really need to be proactive, because we scale better than them. Now I can go in. Nice, there we go. As you can see, like, uh, if they make a small mistake, it will lead to us killing them. But overall, we are just scaling. That's all That's all we care about. We will not be doing anything too fancy. We are just going to be scaling. Uh, if they make a mistake, they will die for it. That's a guaranteed. But it's not something that we will try to force up on our hands. Uh, it is sometimes good to force, like, when you when you saw me uh, blink to stunk this guy. But that's because it was a guaranteed, right? When it, when you when it's something guaranteed like that, it is worth taking risks. Even if sometimes it doesn't pay off, of course, right? But overall, you just have to realize what kind of champs you are or you're playing against and realize what the win con is, right? You cannot just keep W king and running it down and hopefully whoever trades the best wins because everyone has his own power spikes or just journey, like, ability-based uh, when you have an advantage to abilities, right? For example, we only went in there because the Decker used stunk. And she was still level 5. There we go. She does. Uh, I took a minion by mistake. Did not mean to do that. Need to be a little careful. My tank. Nice. I'm trying to tank on the second snipe. For him to hit the second snipe. Not the first one. Because the first one he will be slowed. See, see, because uh, because something like that, they can either dash it or she can jump it, right? Now we will probably take tower. I will just ward. I do want to give him solo tower gold. I'm I'm sitting outside of range, just giving him solo tower gold. Not really trying to uh, force too much with the time. What's he going? By the way, I think I saw Malady. He's going Malady and Soul Chalice. Okay. If the Kira comes from this way, I'm insta tanking. That's why I'm playing this side of the land. Uh, the no, we we're not gonna do anything. I think we just take this. This guy's right here. 
We will just take ourselves gold buff. We don't need to take tower too early. It is nice to take tower, but it's not that important. This this game looks pretty one-sided. I feel like we kind of demolished our land, so this might not be too long of a video, depending how strong the enemy mental is. Okay, my guy is resetting. I'm just going to hold this wave down for him. I will just last hit and just hold the wave as soon as he comes back. I don't really need to reset at this point. As you can see, my crest has still... Uh, Three more procs until I get it, and that's kind of when I want to reset. So all I'm going to do is uh, just sit right here. Does he get it? He does not, because I hit it twice. He did use the E, so I'm not really going to try as well. They cage. I'm trying to get him to rewind over me just stunking. Because they used abilities, but nothing that important. Um, the guy right here. Just heal. I cannot throw a throw tank again. It's very important to be a little careful. And I cannot die right here because I'm literally one crest away. Trying to force something on them, so they ignore my wraith. Nice. Yeah, I tried to run there in turret so they get very confused and maybe go on me. And with that in mind, they might completely forget about my wraith for a little bit. All right, nice. I don't, I don't think I needed to blink. I tried to blink before he snipes, to be honest. Not after. But because uh, I blinked, I need to leave. Fuck, I got tower gold. I didn't mean to get tower gold there. I also didn't mean to steal it. I just wanted to stun him, so then he snipes it, right? But overall, it doesn't really matter. We are pretty massive, uh, and we get tower. My guy's not basing. Oops. All right, that's, uh, that's a little bit of brain off for me. I thought I based. I swear, there's, there's an issue with uh, basing in this game. Uh, I tried to base, but it just doesn't let me. Okay, I now finished Crystal Tool. I'm gonna go Everbloom. I wanna get Everbloom because I think it's a broken ass item. Look at the like the passive. That passive is insane, by the way. Like such a good passive. I might roam mid, cover the fake, because the Gideon might just ult it. I'm only just gonna look. I'm only hovering, I'm not really doing too much. I didn't want to go in. I wanted the Gideon to go in himself. But I will just heal this guy. Uh, of course, my ADC is so massive that I don't think he needs me anymore. So it's it's at this point of the game that we start roaming mid lane. Nice, there we go. We make sure we follow the blink. Put some more Zier. We're kind of just putting offensive wards. Uh, River is going to be open. I don't want to take River. Uh, I'm going to leave it to uh, someone else. I think my raid should kill, I think. Right? Yeah, nice. Just help this guy. I'll ping the, the Rivers up. And we just reset again. As you can see, I used all my three wards, so we just reset. Now, uh, I think we swap right side lanes. We play for orb. I want to play for orb here with my team. So hopefully we just run uh, for our prime. And we give it to maybe Wraith. But I think Wraith is just going to take blue buff instead. So it's not that big of a deal. Uh, the reason I went Sank, by the way, is because it scales. Not scales, but it stacks very well with uh, Soul Bearer. You can protect your soul bearer uh, shield with the other shield, so it, it's it becomes really really potent. Unfortunately, is there a plant? There is a plant, but I don't think I can do much. I will uh, shield him. Unfortunately, uh. Oh, 
he's gonna run on me. I couldn't do much for the, uh, what's his name? For my off planer. I literally didn't have ult and uh, I could just heal, right? So. And here I'm going to hit this. It just helps. Alright, he does not want to take the tree. That is fine with me. I'm just gonna help him do this instead. I'm gonna hold my tongue for the Gideon ult just in case, although I doubt that this Gideon is gonna come. Let's not get knocked back by that thing. Yeah, and this is when you start roaming as a fort, right? You just let your ADC get so low level, so low XP, like you. Sure, it's scary if the ADC get ran at by three people, because that's a big bounty. It's a massive bounty now, but overall, it does not matter that much. Uh, again, use my HP wards, nothing on the map, I'm gonna reset. This time, I'm actually gonna meet up with my ADC, and we start, we're gonna start fake tier twos. Uh, we basically got everything on the right side of the map. We got the Fang Tooth, we put a lot of wards on the right side of the map, so now it's time for me to refill those wards and help out my ADC instead. See, he is level 12, I'm only level 10. He's been getting a lot of solo uh, XP. Meanwhile, I've been trying to affect the map a little bit as Narb, because now I am like pretty well skilled. We'll just heal him. Uh, there's probably a ward. There's another ward right here. Damn. Oh, uh, is someone coming? I mean, no one's coming. I was uh, I was paying attention to the. Uh, All right, there we go. I, I, again, if your ADC is going on someone, it's good to follow it up, but you also want to pay attention to the surroundings. The, the fact that this uh, this Decker went in, uh, it had me slightly confused, right? Because I don't know uh, the exact reason. There's no way they 2v2 us, so there has to be a third person. So it's important to uh, pay a little bit of attention. Um, I can think like one more, and that's it. They are running with Prime. This might be the fastest game that I've ever played in my life. I'm gonna go for it. Of course, the, the enemy team might have given up staying in base. But we have Prime, so I kinda wanna try to end this. I really wanna try to end this. Can we try? Nice. Alright, there we go. That is... That is one hell of a fast game. 19 minutes, we can end with the mini prime that we got later on down the game. That is probably one of the fastest games I've ever played that actually just ended, straight up ended, just because we killed Core over, uh, over um, you know, them FFing. That was a really fast game, really quick game, but I think that was a very good performance to showcase the strengths and the a, a bit of a disadvantage that Narbash offers in the early stages, but you can you can do pretty well. Of course, my damage is gonna be pretty bad. It's actually close to the uh, Zars Zars damage. Let's look at the healing though. Damage heals 21k in 19 minutes. That is kind of crazy. I think Narb is really good. It has a lot of potential in this patch. I didn't even get to his good item, the, his new item, the third one. But yeah, once you get that item, you're kind of unstoppable. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. I will see you all next time for another predecessor gameplay video. Peace out, gamers.